<laughs> okay, we're here in, in, in Israel. Uh, uh, Ohad, you, you are the founder of, uh, of, uh, of the Tao Chain. Uh, we were introduced by, 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 by Over, a, a friend I also met on the, on the, inter on, on the internet. And he said, okay, Martijn, you have to talk to this guy because he's got a really interesting story, a really interesting product. Mm. The only challenge is how to also formulate it that also other people will start understanding it. So that, that, I, I think that's the, the main uh, message and challenge uh, for this interview to really uh, try to explain it to people who are not technical. Because what's your background, say also your study, your uh, mathematician? Um, I'm mm. a software engineer and mathematician. Yeah, um, really good. So, 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 so Tao Chain, um, what is it? Can you, can you just describe it shortly and practically? Yes, well, may, may, maybe, <coughs> maybe first uh, a little background um, is needed about why we hate software, why we hate computers. You know, that are the most frustrating uh, creatures ever. Uh, why? Because they don't behave as we expect them to behave. And um, even w if you want to, to write a program, you test it um, manually or automatically and I bugs always remain. Sometimes it's uh, usability bugs and sometimes security bugs. And you can never know that uh, your, uh, so the computer is doing what it should do. But computer science is a young science and um, computer scientists of course aware of this situation and indeed there are solutions and over the past decades one may say that there are even uh, closed solutions, tested solutions that everyone are convinced that they are good enough. Um, <clears throat> nowadays there are languages in which you can uh, write uh, your code and have a mathematical proof that your code meets your requirements, your formal requirements, and you just don't, don't need to test it anymore. Such languages, existing languages, are, to mention two are Idris um, by Edwin Brady and uh, Agda II. Those languages are quite complicated, and in general the process of a formal verification is very expensive and complicated. They do it, but um, you, you don't see it all around, and that's why we still hate computers and software still contain bugs. And we, uh, and we also never trust programmers because they, 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 they're they always busy with fixing the bugs uh, and everything around it. That's right. That's, that's another point, if, even deeper point. And when you hire a programmer, you have to trust them to supply the correct code and they have to trust you to supply them the money and uh, which comes first. So, those existing sol solutions um, are, in the, uh, are, are said very complicated and expensive and they are not uh, collaborative yet. For example, there is no database of um, um, functions that I can use right away. Well, of, th there are um, major projects of um, um, formalized mathematics and um, formalized proofs, but it's not like uh, I can s simply uh, search for ready function, for ready code. Um, once we g get this decide those decidable languages, maybe later I will emphasize what decidability means, into a collaborative uh, application, into decentralized application, which now we begin to speak about how all knowledge being combined. If I want to write a software, I break it into functions and I write the requirements I have from each functions, which are of course inherently easier than actually implementing the function, I can just search for ready function on Tau's database and use it with the mathematical proof that this answers what I need. So from now on people will have to write uh, functions only once. And it's enough that uh, a biologist solve, solved some uh, problem uh, with proteins or I don't know what, and it might be isomorphic to the computer science problem that you might be interested right now. 
and even without planning this knowledge can be shared and know-how can be implemented into other areas okay so what it does is is if i understand it right and else correct me and say what i'm saying wrong is <clears throat> it's going to be a kind of a decentralized database where people are <clears throat> putting uh, solutions in and the solutions they are checked by the algorithm uh, or the mathematics of the system and with that uh, every solution has only to be written once and everybody can use it. That's very correct but, of, but the, the very definition is, is a bit more general. In fact you and Tauchen is a decentralized database with a blockchain means that it, you can uh, know the order of time of the development of the data and the, those documents can, can be everything can be code can be contracts also contracts suffer from the problem of um, from not not being able to reason about maybe maybe I, sh I should give a more concise uh, introduction to what is decidability and what, why is it important. Hilbert on the uh, year 1900 stood in Paris and uh, listed his famous 23 problems. And problem number two is to prove the consistency of arithmetics, to prove that um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, th their definition isn't self-contradictory. Because if it is self-contradictory, we can close uh, sh shut down all math departments, yes? Thirty years later came Gedel, who, di who wasn't even born yet in 1900, and proved that this is impossible. More precisely, Gesell proved that any logic that is rich enough to express those four uh, operations of arithmetics must be either consistent or complete. It cannot be both. And what do we mean by this? Completeness, co completeness is about the ability to prove any correct theory. Assume I have a correct claim about arithmetics. In a complete logic, this claim will also have a proof. Consistency means that I cannot prove a statement and its negation. Comes Gedel and tells you that if your language is strong enough to express the arithmetics, then either you can prove all correct statements and all incorrect statements, also, incorrect statements as a proof, or you have a consistent state, uh, system that can prove part of the correct statements, but can, cannot prove any incorrect statement. Now, th this turns out to be really about Turing completeness, because Turing completeness is complete at the sense of Gedel. Where can we see that Turing complete logic contradicts itself? the most famous problem is the halting problem. The halting problem does exist a Turing machine that decides whether other Turing machine ever holds. The answer to this question is both yes and no. It's like the liar paradox. You can prove that this machine exists and you can prove that this machine does not exist. By having a contradiction, you can always logically elevate it to prove anything else you want. So, under Turing complete languages, all we have to do is to run our program and see how it, be, how it behaves. We cannot reason over, over the code because even if we do, it doesn't say it's correct. Yeah. And, and um, because first yeah, you had the idea, and how, how, how did you, yeah, then uh, make your first steps? Uh, and, and also where you're now, uh, in which part of of the creation of the process of, 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 uh, of Tao Chen? Well, Ta Tao Chen is basically a programming language. And uh, we finished uh, writing an interpreter. We, now we are working on a JIT compiler, just-in-time compiler, because we want the 
uh, this language to be usable for general purpose programming. And we definitely want it to be very fast. So everyone will use it for everything. Um, and we put a lot of effort to make it really as fast as possible. And far to mention, it must be correct. Because um, if we begin the blockchain which contains the code of the client itself, I haven't mentioned this, the, the rules of the network themselves are on the blockchain. It must be correct from Genesis. We cannot supply a buggy client and then fix it later. So we, we t take our time to, um, to make sure that every letter is in place and uh, everything is, is really a, a, as we want it to be. With all the p possible perfectionism. <laughs> but after we finish and we come up with, with the genesis, Tau isn't ready yet. What is ready is only a platform to collaboratively mm -hmm. build Tau. So we only finish the compiler step and from now on, for from that point uh, further, it will be a collaborative development. Now Tau supports a, a separation of contexts. Tau is like the centralized app store. Everyone can write an application over it on this uh, special language with all the sideability features, but uh, applications are separated. They, they don't intermix. They can. They can refer to each other, but uh, one rule set doesn't uh, affect another rule set unless this one really wants to. Okay, uh, uh, maybe it's also time to, uh, to get something more, uh, something more practical because I heard now uh, a platform, I heard database, and I heard programming language. Uh, so, okay, also, uh, am I right about that? Yes, and indeed, uh, Tau is a platform for, for applications, decentralized or, or networked or offline, um, not only for uh, um, programming as we know it, but also to use an over arbitrary knowledge. Even um, mathematics as is, this logic we speak about, which is named Martin Left type theory, is considered as the new foundations of mathematics as for the, the 21st century. And it can express any finite knowledge, any knowledge human or machines ca can, can work with. So indeed Tau isn't, is, is a platform and is not an end application as for itself. Indeed, uh, we plan to also build applications over Tau, just like everyone else can build. We plan to uh, have Agoras project over Tau. Uh, Agoras is, is markets in, uh, in Greek. Okay, yeah. Ancient, <coughs> Athen ancient Agoras of Athenas, the famous one. Um, which will have a coin. Tau doesn't have a coin. And with smart contracts, but not contracts like um, like during complete contracts or contracts that the bank gives you that you cannot reason, you cannot know their consequence beforehand. You have to live through the contract and see what happens. But contracts that are meaningful. And, and Agoras will also support the code for money market, which we spoke about, that you can hire a programmer and the, you don't need to trust them to uh, supply the correct code and they don't need to trust you to supply the money because you can uh, guarantee this all in a smart contract. Also renting computational power, which is Zenit's uh, features before, um, b before I moved to work on Tau. Uh, which, uh, which simply um, you you can hire home comp home, com home computers and uh, develop new medicine and uh, anything that requires high computational power. While we know that nowadays the the major bottleneck is indeed in the available hardware. Um, there are medical companies that buy GPUs like crazy. The largest supercomputer in the world is order of magnitude of eight thousand home GPUs. Google has one million servers. Those numbers are tiny in scales of decentralized networks. So 
no more rational reason to use supercomputers and this money goes to the public. No more reason to use Google because a large enough network can very quickly scrap the whole internet and you have all Google's database at your fingertips. You can query it as you want. Okay, and, 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 and do you get more examples of, of, of what you can do? Because uh, so, uh, so you can create a kind of a supercomputer, but you, uh, uh, th 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 I think the main <coughs> core is that, that, that you can use uh, the, the power and the knowledge of, of the network, uh, and that will uh, give you great scalability, because normally you, you have to, to uh, if you want to do, you have to have much money to buy a supercomputer or to buy one million servers, and now you just tap into the power of the network. There is, for example, World Community Grid, uh, Boink, the, the famous, uh, it's a famous uh, large network, exists for uh, 15 years or so, that you can donate computational resources, donate your ideal home PC for science. And now, assume you are uh, a researcher that uh, want to run your computation, you want to fold your protein or this network, don't imagine that you can, in one click, make all the nodes there run your protein. No, there are universities that run this project, you have to ask them to do this, and I don't know what the rules are, but it's not open to you right away. And here, on the other hand, you can, uh, on one click, instantly have millions of computers at your disposal and for much lo lower cost because Amazon will take you order of magnitude of $300 per month for something equivalent to a home, co home computer. Wouldn't you rent your whole computer for $200 per month? Yeah. <clears throat> and, and at what way, because yeah, people can build su such a system on uh, 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 Antau, and uh, can they then also build their own uh, um, uh, virtual coin system that they can also reward people for uh, sharing uh, the, the capacity of their computers? Yes, and indeed this is all part of Agoras. This uh, all is going to be done on Agoras, indeed, including the code for money market and the search engine. Yeah. We, we speak about incenti self incentivized search engine for uh, the, the whole housekeeping of the search engine computational work has to be invested so uh, nodes has to be incentivized so the plan is that once you query you have to pay for the uh, computers that serve you but normal users won't have to deal with this because they will also serve others and get coins and they might not even know that they have coins that they pay with for searches unless they do very massive searching and they will need to have their own coins but regular users can't possibly do so many searches than their computer is yeah. able to serve yeah yeah but uh, uh, that way because uh, this, this, this all happens behind the scenes uh, so the normal users uh, without a knowledge of interesting in these techniques will just say okay i'm sharing the capacity of my computer to the network and then the, the network and 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 and, and uh, everything around it <coughs> will arrange how everything is is being uh, being done yes and moreover you could also set your own price and even more than that i i am um, it, it can be explained, um, Tau can be explained as forming another sub-society of intelligent creatures, machines, that speak in a language that is rich enough to, to express everything and they also can understand each other. And you can give your intelligent agent your own rules in this crazy world. And it will follow your, your rules. You can send it amounts over tau to rules of what to do when computation request is incoming. You can simply have a rule, ask for so and so money. That's it. Cool, cool. And rule-based uh, programming. If you know, sometimes you want to change a rule in a software, you have to redesign it all. 
Here, no, you just add this rule, and the compiler will recalculate it all. Yeah, so, so it's just a really, really, a really smart, uh, smart system. Functional programming, yeah that's, yeah, that's total functional programming. Yeah, and would this also make programming available for a much broader audience uh, than it is right now? Because now you have to be quite technical when you want to start programming. That's also why, uh, and, and, and maybe also will also, um, because nowadays it's really hard to get good programmers and they and they predict it will be harder in the near future because there are not uh, enough programmers uh, being educated uh, on universities. But would this also change or, or, or has it the possibility to change the jobs of the programmers uh, and make uh, and give them also the control more back in the hands of the users? Yes, yes, very much. And indeed, this already begins. Um, decidable languages are out there and with decidable languages you have mathematical proof that you don't have bugs or or to any formal require requirement you, ca you can formalize. Um, you don't need to test it once you have a proof that uh, the requirements uh, are met. And I, I really hope it will um, make um, programming more accessible from another point of view. Th those existing languages are very difficult. So we take um, other existing languages from the world of semantic web, uh, namely the RDF language family, specifically notation three. And those languages are very close to human language. Uh, they are built on sentences of three words, so subject, predicate, object. And it turns out that with this you can um, you can describe any logic. Uh, th th therefore, um, on these languages, they, they are not decidable as is. They are Turing complete on the world of semantic web. So we have to take type systems for decidable, from decidable languages and put it over those RDF languages and we, we get a tau. Um, another um, point where tau makes the development process so much easier is that after enough code will be on Tau's database, you will rarely need to write your own function. You will only write the requirements for the function and you can seek in Tau's database automatically, of course, for a ready function that meets these requirements. Yeah. And, and, and uh, where are you now in the process uh, of, of, of building, uh, building Tau? Well, we finished uh, um, um, a significant period of time of uh, design and we also finished an uh, interpreter to the language, a reasoner. And we now turn it into a JIT compiler, just-in-time compiler, because we really want this to be as fast as possible to serve to really replace other existing languages, other programming <coughs> languages. Yes, we are uh, as crazy as to believe that uh, programmers will program in Tau. There, there is no reason not to do it. Um, so uh, we do it very carefully because it is not only a standalone language, it also comes with a blockchain and w with a network that defines itself. So it, it must be correct from Genesis, from, from the first step. And this is why we, we put a lot of time and effort to see that everything is in, in place in, in terms of correctness and uh, performance. Afterwards, it will be just uh, too late. Yeah. And um, you're, you're also, you're, you're, uh, are also talking about we. So who, who, is, uh, who is we? Uh, who is all now working on uh, on the project? There is a uh, HMC, um, which is Hunter Miner Crafter, which is the one who told me about Tau. Tau isn't my idea. It's not my invention. He claims that it's not his invention as well. He claims that it has been discussed in forms for seven years, up till now, yet no one did it. 
and uh, a few more people in our uh, IRC uh, channel and uh, and me yeah and 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 what's the business model around it because in the end you also have to make a living uh, you also have some investors so also what is the the reason uh, uh, but also uh, at what way are you also going to make money out of it and also what's the reason where why investors uh, joined you well of course <coughs> for tau tau um, gives no money it, it contains no coin and, and no uh, no nothing it's a bare platform on agoras um, we plan to create an economy, as I said, an intelligent, futuristic economy. And we will have coins, and we have to distribute them initially somehow. Those coins we, we pre-sale now. Mm -hmm. And people can buy now coins to be in, in Agoras. In this economy that can do that uh, things that no other economy can do, like Eliminating the trust problem in hiring programmers. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, where d where do you think or where do you hope this will lead to? Uh, uh, but also uh, and and also, what is the time frame you you have in mind? Well, I I claim that uh, that this uh, the, this new technology is so dramatic that it is impossible to forecast where it will take us. Because only just the fact of combining all know-hows in a way that, that can be reused, or what the reasoner it's all about. The <coughs> compiler is basically automated theory improver. It reasons by itself automatically. What will it find out and where will it take us? No one knows. There are mathematical problems that it is known that if they will be solved, if any, but if they will be solved, our whole life will be different. We could even fold proteins with in five minutes instead of uh, five years just to give a taste, okay? and just uh, uh, throwing numbers. If the computer will find a magic formula in mathematics, in physics, or we all co collaboratively find uh, um, some some new physics or new science. We never tried this. Yeah, yeah. But is it, I think this is also one of the challenges <coughs> you and also other and uh, entrepreneurs and thinkers in this field are, are are having because in the end it's the same like uh, when the internet uh, uh, started or started uh, 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 came to a critical mass. People couldn't have think up front where we uh, were going to, uh, to use it for. Um, so I think that's also with every new invention uh, that, uh, that, that, that appears, <coughs> that people, that is really hard to imagine what the possibilities are. So you can maybe say, okay, we're, we're now here and we can imagine this, but in the end, uh, when you're going to work with it, maybe it will end over here or even farther. Uh, much further so it's, it's and, and that's that's also may, maybe the reason why it's also hard to explain uh, because you're talking about new possibilities uh, that we can that, that many people can't even imagine yet how do, how do you see that yes I, I definitely agree I, I uh, think that it is impossible to, to predict what will be our consequences the, the world is going to change no one can tell how it, it is already known that uh, that the world is going to change at the sense of thinking machines and that is of course one step on, on this or, or several steps in this direction um, recently uh, I, I got to say that uh, um, when the era of thinking machines will come of course no one can predict what will happen but I can tell only one thing it will be impossible to lie. <laughs> it will be impossible to lie. Yeah, yeah. But do you also don't think, uh, because in the end things are getting much more transparent. Uh, uh, the system they won't make mistakes anymore. Uh, so maybe in one way you, you can say, okay, we're going to a ideal world. But in the end, what 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 will this mean uh, for mankind? Uh, because in the end. 
um, uh, we, we as human beings, we learn by making mistakes. Uh, if we don't make, make mistakes, we don't learn. Uh, so we start with something, we make a mistake and, 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 th and that will help that in the end we will come with better solutions. Um, but also human beings, they're, they're not really uh, created uh, to be uh, uh, perfect because we are not. And so, so what do you, I, I, I'm really, yeah, thinking about this uh, a lot. Also <clears throat> the same with the questions about privacy uh, and about uh, privacy versions being complete transparent. That's, you could say, okay, but when you're com completely transparent, then uh, uh, then there will be no violence anymore because people, they know they're being watched, so they won't make any, uh, so they won't do any bad things. But in the end, it, it's, it also really affects you uh, as yeah, being a human being because we also need uh, uh, to have space uh, that we maybe can lie or maybe that we can cheat. Uh, because that's also the way people uh, can, can live. There was, there was yesterday I, I, uh, I saw a series, a, 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 a death series uh, or a documentary. <clears throat> it's called uh, Super Stream Me. And we're two guys, uh, because when, like when you're talking about, uh, uh, about privacy, many people say, okay, but I have nothing to hide. And so they really only think about privacy about a really functional, really uh, rational way. But in the end, what they did, they, they, they did an the experiment, two guys, two Dutch guys, it's also a Dutch, doc, Dutch uh, documentary. And they say, okay, we're going to super stream, we're going to live stream our lives for the next 18 days. So we're going to wear cameras, we're going to wear sensors so people can see our, our remote, uh, our heartbeats. Uh, 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 people can uh, uh, send us tweets every day, 24 seven. And after 14 days, they, all, they almost had a burnout and they stopped, they really became crazy. Why? Because in the end, like when you want to, to think of something new, sometimes you just need some space for yourself alone. And we are constantly being watched uh yeah they turn out crazy so so that's really made me think about uh in one way also by all these great techniques we are are are, are going to a much more efficient uh, better world doing really good things but i'm also really curious about if 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 we can 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 handle this that's it of course of course that's a very good question and of course i have no idea but Tao isn't about yes, spying, of course. Mm, uh, I, I, I know, uh, but it's about being more efficient, uh, about also avoiding mistakes. Also really good about giving people the tools to, 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 uh, to uh, do things, uh, to, to experiment and in that way to learn really fast. So it's also got two sided. One side, it gives people the, the power uh, to to uh, to do uh, right. uh, do things. Uh, at the other side, it also uh, makes things more effective. But I'm really uh, I'm really uh, we do give a lot of Tao gives of course a lot of power to humanity. And where will this power take us? Indeed, we don't know, but it's it's inevitable. If not, uh, I do Tao. Someone else will do something. So it's really this reality is inevitable, whether it's good or not. Ma many people are uh, theorizing over it, and of course no one knows. Yeah, that's right. And so what is your ultimate goal, or maybe even your dream with Tao? So, so, so when will it be a big success for you, and will you be a... Uh, well, a my dream is to be able to ask the computer questions and get answers like I'm speaking, with someone who is way smarter than the, the smartest guy in the world, that all, all, all people in the world combine. See, in our brain we have only 10 giga neurons. The human brain is 10 giga neurons. We, that, that's nothing. Sorry, <laughs> we, we a, are not that smart, sorry. <laughs> it, it was enough for, for, for a couple of thousand years. <laughs> so. So, the computer can see so much beyond that than we can mm. see. We just have to connect the computer to our, our reality. And now we'll have the, a language that we can understand each other. And we have shared resources. And we have huge database and language that the computers can, can reason offer. After we give the computer all this information and ask 
the important questions. We might get 40 to us an answer. We might get another answer, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no idea. And uh, what are you, uh, because you're, you're now really busy with the projects so together with some people, at, 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 uh, what are your main challenges, uh, let's say, the next next year? So, so, so what are the things where you think about, okay, I, I really have no idea uh, how to solve it, or I think it, it will be really hard to make these steps. And maybe also the viewers that are watching can help you with. Mm. Well, the, the design is pretty much laid down. Um, and. Uh, Everything we do uh, already proved itself working out there. Uh, so uh, there is nothing uh, technologi technologically new here, but the uh, main concern is to do it correctly. And that's not trivial at all. To write a correct software is both non-trivial and rare. <laughs> and, and, and that's a big challenge. And do you think it's also exciting when, because in the end, <coughs> Yeah, uh, the, the software is, is being used to help others, so, so, so other people will build things on top of it. So do you think uh, for yourself it's also exciting when you give the control uh, for a part out of hand and that other people will, will start building things uh, with, uh, with your baby? Uh? Yes, you know, it, it, it always is totally equal. The, the developers or me or everyone has no... Um, privilege uh, whatsoever. Everyone is completely equal. And uh, yes, as, as I plan to write applications over Tau, uh, other people plan, I already hear from people who plan to write applications over Tau. Yeah, yeah. And what do you think uh, has to happen really to, uh, to bring it to the public? Because in the end you have a, a really, really perfect system. And, 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 and a programming language and everything around. Uh, <clears throat> but w uh, how, how do you think you will get to the, mm. to the greater audience that the people, uh, that the snowball is going mm. to roll? I'll, I'll tell you what, for example, the, the world of the semantic web. It is, you know, the, the new SQL, the new world of database. Uh, the, all the big companies are there. They all work with RDF reasoners. And Tau is yet another RDF reasoner. My plan is, I hope it will come true, that to make the fastest, fastest reasoner ever in the JIT compiler uh, design. So even without the blockchain, the collaborative uh, features, one of the greatest markets, uh, ex existing markets, already looks for such, such products. Far to mention, it will also have a decidable type system. That's another thing that's uh, very interesting. So, um, uh, on, uh, that's simply on only one big channel that uh, I expect a lot of attention from um, um, and, and I think that, that this will um, make developers all over much more aware of Tau and write applications over Tau and at the end it will reach the end user. Of course, uh, uh, me too. Uh, Agoras is planned to, uh, to to the end user, not only to developers. And and what way are you going to make sure that that, that, that the timing is right? Because what I see is many people are working on really great things, but they, uh, many people also have troubles with the right timing of the, uh, of the release. So sometimes they get all the attention, like also from the media uh, or from the specialist, too early. So they got all the attention, but they have nothing to show. Uh, sometimes they got it too late. So in what way do you also really have a, a plan about that? So how to, 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 to do the right timing about that? Well, m my, my strategy is uh, strictly refuse give any estimation. <laughs> that's my strategy. <laughs> I just uh, don't want to lie. That's it. I guess we are a few months away from, from this genesis. And when I speak about Genesis, the Genesis block of Tau chain, of the root uh, chain of Tau chain, is just a step where the compiler is ready. It does not mean that the network is ready. From that step, we begin to form the rules of the network together. Everyone will be able to form the rules of the network collaboratively with us. 
and after the network will stabilize and the code of the network of the client itself will stabilize uh, applications will be begin to be written yeah cool and if people want to uh, know more about uh, uh, about tau or maybe also they want to subscribe uh, where can they find more information well the, the main website is uh, idni.org idni.org intelligent decentralized network initiatives and there is also quick links list on the tauchain.org Okay, great. I will also put the links uh, down uh, the videos so people can, can, uh, can check them. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much, time. Martin. Thank you. Really nice talking to you. I think I'm getting to understand what you're talking about, but it's still dizzling in my head. But I think I will uh, think about it really in, in the train back to Tel Aviv. And uh, yeah, everything will get its, uh, its place. So, wish you all the luck with uh, your next steps. And I will uh, follow the project. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate it.